Welcome everybody to Extreme Power No Handling Autocross and today we're dealing with the 1979 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. Now this has a 970 horsepower, 813 pounds feet of torque from a 7 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine and the car itself weighs 3,462 pounds. It's got rear wheel drive only and it can do not 16 5.648 seconds, not to 110.538 seconds, going on to a top speed of 160 miles an hour. Now, because this is one of the uh, original, at least uh, weaker Camaros from uh, the uh, 70s, as it only had 175 horsepower, which is pretty pathetic to be honest for a muscle car. That means that it's got more than 800, well, near enough 800 horsepower more than it did originally. So, uh, yeah, we're asking a lot from this car, but it is one of the lighter muscle cars from that era, so that should hopefully help in terms of braking and handling. But yeah, let's uh, see what it can do. No idea where this is going to go against the other kind of cars that we've had on this series. It should beat the El Camino just because it does have somewhat better handling. And it's also dealing with uh, less power. But whether or not it's going to beat the likes of the uh, Dodge Dart or the uh, Mustang Boss is to be seen. Even though I do hate the fact that this car has such little power when stopped, I will give it credit that it does have some reasonable handling and uh, certainly doesn't weigh as much as some cars from that era. Well, that's going to help in this episode? I don't know. And the El Camino putting the time of 1 minute 3.664. And we've nearly beaten that already with 1 minute 4.932, so we're just over a second slower. does have a few oversteer issues, as you'd expect. But nothing massive really, as long as, as long as I keep control of the throttle. It does seem to hang in on there a little bit. Alright, quite frankly. Well, we've well beaten the uh, El Camino, and not just that, we've also beaten the uh, Chrysler Valiant Charger and the Ford Mustang Boss, so uh, yeah, we're the uh, second fastest muscle car that we've had in this recent classic muscle car uh, surge that I've been going through lately, just to try and find which one is the best in terms of handling all this extra power. And this one's putting a uh, really rather decent time, though it is still far and away off the uh, Dodge Dart. I guess it's not a surprise, that car does weigh a lot less. I think it had about the same power. power. But it did have better handling as well. Improvement that time round. Our second to last lap. And we completely missed that, so we've ruined that lap. At least we can get some practice in for the final one. Let's try out some new uh, tactics, see if we can uh, eke out a little bit more power, out, uh, eke out a little bit more time out of this car.
some fairly dramatic understeer at that corner as well. I guess it's, it's a little bit heavier up front than it was originally. Right, final lap to try and get some more time out of this car. Damn, we're not going to do it. Uh, yeah, rear end just broke out a little bit after someone was steering. That's just the problem there. We might have done better, but that time is still fairly decent from a classic muscle car at 1 minute 2 seconds, 0.429. Which, like I said, does put it ahead of the Chrysler Valiant and the El Camino and the uh, Ford Mustang Boss V02. It's also ahead of the Jaguar XJS, uh, the Renault 5 Turbo, the Lancia Stratos, and the Subaru Wrap GL. But it is behind the Nissan Skyline from 1987, the Volvo 850R, the Ford SVT Cobra from 1993, and like I said, the Dodge Dot Hemi Super Stock, which is around four seconds quicker. So, uh, yeah, but it's still fairly decent, especially from a car that I don't really all that like. Because, like I said, the stock version has a weak amount of power, only 175 horsepower from a big V8. It's pretty pathetic. But, uh, yeah. In terms of what it was able to do on this series, it was pretty uh, admirable, quite frankly. And uh, yeah, I'm glad it's uh, beaten the other, at least three of the four muscle cars that we've had on this series so far. But it is still, like I said, way off the Dodge Dart. So we're going to have to find a car that is as lightweight as this, has kind of handling like this, but is also able to handle the uh, extra power. But there are plenty of muscle cars to choose from, so we might just be able to find out a ca find a car there that can beat that Dodge Dart, which still see its uh, range supreme at 58 seconds, 0.258. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.